This is Sharon Bornhold with the Louisville Gals Real Estate Blog, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about automating your direct mail and using a database or CRM, how those two work together. Now, everyone needs to start where they start with the resources that they have, but you need to try to scale that up pretty quickly if you're going to uh, make any headways. I had a conversation with someone recently and she was talking about handwriting her direct mail letters. And what I had to say to her was stop that. Don't do that because you cannot build a real business. You cannot build a scalable business by handwriting your letters. Now, I don't really like yellow letters and most of you that know me know that. There, there's a number of reasons why I don't like them, but let me start out by saying that in some areas they work pretty well, especially if you are buying what I call lower end uh, blue collar properties. Uh, in some inner city neighborhoods, they seem to work pretty well, but in most areas they don't work as well over time as a more professional mail piece. You know, you're going to get a lot of calls with those types of letters because people are curious, but you're not going to get a lot of motivated seller calls. And I found that across the board from people that use these types of mill pieces, you get a lot more angry people. Now, I understand, you know, the whole theory behind these. Um, the theory behind the original yellow letters or handwritten letters was that you were driving down the street and you saw what appeared to be a vacant house or a distressed house and you wanted to just jot down your name and phone number and say hey i'm interested in buying your house and if you're driving for dollars you know you can do certainly use that strategy you could also just just as easily stick a postcard in their door but you know that that is probably a whole different topic but what i'm talking about is building a business and having direct mail campaigns as an integral part of your business. So for me, this goes back to, you know, what do I want my business to look like? What do, what is the persona or the image that I want, uh, you know, my business to convey to potential motivated sellers? And for me, I want to portray a, um, a more professional appearance. And, and I think in the long run, people that I know that have moved out of like really low-end neighborhoods, that's how they've done it. They've done it with some type of more professional mail piece. You know, I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that a lot of these yellow letters look like they were written by a third grader. You know, they, they just scream, I'm, you know, I have a lack of marketing sophistication. I have a lack of marketing knowledge. So once you decide to build a real business, then you need to think about, first of all, how you can scale this process. And that, that is never going to be by handwriting letters. Now, I know folks that print these off on a computer and they are um, maybe on yellow paper, maybe lined paper, maybe they have a red font. But what they have to do is it'll say, dear blank space, and they'll go in there and they'll write Mrs. Smith. And then they'll say, contacting you about your property, well, that's all printed, and then they're going to write the property address in there. I have to tell you, that just looks terrible. And that actually does look like a third grader did that. So think about your image, think about how you're going to scale your business, and think about what you want your business to look like down the road when you are a successful real estate investor. You need to start building your brand, building your image right from day one. Now, the only way that you can really manage direct mail campaigns is with software, with a CRM or a database. And um, I'm going to put this video in a blog post which goes over all of that. You know, you, there are programs out there you can use. Some of them cost several hundred dollars, and there's a monthly fee if you want a cloud-based system. There's a couple of other ones out there like Zoho or Podio that if you're willing to learn how to do it and put the work in, you can have an online system. And I think those, um, those systems are good. They certainly take more knowledge and they certainly take a lot of time, which is something most newer investors don't have. You know, a lot of, a lot of folks have a full-time job. So unless you're a software developer, you're not gonna have time to mess with those. 
But the real purpose of the, the software is that it's, it stores your leads for you. You can put them in there and you can do your mailings right out of there so that it, when it mail, merges up the mail on your white letter or your, on, on your mail piece, it will print out, Dear Mrs. Smith, I'm calling you about the property at 1220 Valley Drive. So it's a professional piece of mail. Now, you can also have a similar setup with postcards. And from experience, I can tell you that you can have those done, um, you know, cheaply with an outsourced company. But letters are still a big part of direct mail. You get a good response with, with letters. But with direct mail, you need to mail every month. So how do you stay on track? Well, if you're trying to, to handwrite out yellow letters, you're never going to stay on track and you're never going to be able to do the volume of mail that you need to do. So my advice to you is to get um, a CRM, get some type of a database. And that's really what I want to talk about today. You know, I want to talk about something that I have found to be a really nice piece of software, a really cost effective piece of software, and you get a 30 day free trial. So that gives you a chance to get in there and play with it, you know, figure out, you know, how can I use this? Can I have somebody come in and help me with this process if I have a lot of leads to put in there? Um, the, the actual piece of software, the program I want to talk about a little bit is SI Lead Manager. It is under $100, like I said, you, and that's a one-time fee. There's no monthly fee there. So you get um, a nice software program. For those of you who tell me you're really tech challenged, which um, would include most people, um, Scott Costello, the creator of the software, has put something like 60 videos in there on every tiny little component of the software. And the fact that there's 60 videos in there doesn't mean it's difficult. It just means he's going to show you all the different ways that you can use it, how you can make it fit what you want your business to look like. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that because you can, you can get the free trial. I'll put a link to the free trial if you happen to be seeing this video somewhere other than on my blog. But go in there, check it out, and start to think about building a real business, not just something you do kind of every now and then where you write out a few uh, handwritten letters, but a real business that will bring you income help you grow your wealth year after year after year. So if you have any questions, you can hit me up on the blog, the Louisville Gals Real Estate blog .com. Uh, You can always reach out to me there and I'll be happy to answer any questions. You can also, if you have any questions for Scott, um, I'll be sure that he answers those questions for you regarding the software. But I'll also put a link to the uh, page where you can choose. Some of you may want to just jump in and go ahead and buy the software. Other ones of you may want that free trial, and that's okay. You get a full 30 days uh, to try it and use it, and then you know, then you will have to actually buy it. I've got to tell you that. But it's it's a great price. It's a great piece of software, and uh, Scott is a real estate investor, so he has developed it to use in his own business. This isn't just a software developer developing software, but it is a real estate investor that has developed a piece of software for his own business. So once again, this is Sharon Bornholt with the Louisville Gals Real Estate blog, and hit me up if you have any questions. See you soon.